Do you want to know who I am actually where I came from what kind of challenges I faced to get to Canada and what kind of uh, things I have done in Canada and what I'm doing now then this video is for you so you might know me as a realtor or as an investor but in this video I'm going to share my whole story who I am where I came from you know pretty much from India to Canada what kind of struggles I faced how I got to the place where I am right now so stay tuned Namaskar adabar se vanakam what's up everyone hope you guys doing fantastic if you're new to this channel hit that subscribe button and the bell notification for an awesome content regarding real estate Windsor and many other things and also my personal journey as a realtor investor etc and if you've been following me if you like the content you know what I'm gonna ask you hit that thumbs up button because if you don't YouTube doesn't like me and if YouTube doesn't like me I don't like myself to make more content so do me a favor basically I'm an Indian I'm born and raised in India came to Canada as a student in 2012 so first of all the biggest challenge was the money to get to Canada because when I started like when I wanted to come to Canada my dad didn't had any savings and he had some debts at that point already now like it's pretty much like 50,000 Canadian dollars was a huge money for my dad but you know what he, he was a strong guy he borrowed from friends and family and gave it to me just with the faith that uh, this guy will do well so you know that's where I started you know I, I came to Canada in September 2012 as a student to Sarnia that's where I studied so pretty much while I'm studying I couldn't even find jobs actually at that point because first of all Sarnia was a small city and no part-time jobs also my course was intensive so from morning to evening you know no time for part-times so it was really challenging I have to ask my dad for money even after coming here because initially I thought I can make some money after coming here but um, that's where all the challenges started and then like you know eventually I moved to Toronto um, again for the same reason where I could find some jobs part-time jobs again you know those jobs were freaking hard I still remember a couple of jobs like I literally cleaned toilets in a motel um, uh, also worked in a restaurant to cleaning dishes um, also worked in a factory it, it was an e-waste factory where I have to like smash the electronic items like big big TVs or other uh, electronic uh, items where we have to smash them and to take all the parts out by the end of the day when I get back to home and take a bath like literally the water used to turn black because of the you know dust that falls onto face and all the whole body so it was really hard and on top of that sometimes I used to do like a eight hours at that factory and then another eight hours in a car factory where the car seats manufacturing where there was like freaking hot wax we have to wipe that wax for the seats man it was so hard at that time it was so hard uh, but the thing is you know we got to do what we want to do like we, what we if we want to get to a place then we got to do what we have at that point so again it, at a point I was a student just working all these hard jobs but once I'm done with my studies in 2013 December I started looking for a job for a professional job again that's one thing at that point I thank God some of my seniors uh, who actually graduated before me suggested strongly that hey you know what don't just go for the part-time jobs go find a full-time job because if you keep doing this you get stuck and you don't really improvise your skills that suggestion really stick with me so I literally dropped all the part-time jobs and just I think I was working for like a just in the weekend just to have money for my expenses that's it and during the week I was strictly studying for uh, IT related courses and then uh, applying for jobs and attending the interviews it took me I think six to eight months to find my first job so that was like my first milestone I finally find a job and thank god the city the my first job is in Windsor that's where like um, it's at a company called creative realities fantastic company worked for like a third, third party company for Chrysler so I was uh, started working for Chrysler project so it was fantastic and you know from student working all these labor jobs to a, a nice professional job 
was a good uh, feeling and you know I was so happy because now finally I can pay my debts back so that's where I, I was aiming for and when I landed in Windsor pretty much I was living in the basement seriously like this basement um, if you are aware of Windsor um, it's just right off of the bridge near University Windout and uh, Rosedale on that corner again $250 or 300 I don't remember exact number but that was my rent in the basement you know, it, it was okay you know I didn't never really worried about having the luxury things because my biggest thing is to I want to pay off this freaking debt I have because back home the interest was so crazy 2% per month which is 24% per year so pretty much I think I borrowed like 25 to 30 grand or something Canadian dollars by the time I paid back it was over 50,000 Canadian so um, again I I didn't even purchase a car like first two years I worked as IT job no car like I was just paying off my debts I was so like uh, desperate to pay off my debts because you know back home when my dad was working his has off years uh, when I was a kid I always always saw them with all the depth like they were never living a peaceful life so that's thing like one thing I always wanted to clear off the depth so again thank god I stick to that plan after two years I literally cleared off um, the depths but in this process um, in 2015 you know this thing I never really shared much uh, with many people but I got married this is a kind of a secret wedding where I went to India surprise actually surprise visit I never told anyone that I'm coming I went to India and I got married to Mamta um, it was a secret wedding just with my friends help just for, for getting Mamta here because that was the only option that we had to, to get her ear so you know that again we got it we, we gotta do what we have to do so that's where Mamta is she's saying hi <laughs> so you know we, we did that. I, I, that that was tough because you know without telling the parents and they didn't know at that point like we did all these things uh, we, we revealed that in 2018 after three years uh, which is by the time like Mamta came to Canada because you know we were struggling with a long distance relation and not only that like you know we wanted to be together badly it's been like three years I came as a student in 2012 but the our relation started before I came so you know we did that to just you know to, to have our relation stronger and also like now we can fight the battle together so um, that was another milestone you know 2015 uh, having her and she came in September she, she did uh, some hard jobs and she landed into the same company I was working for so we both uh, kind of worked in the same company and in this process again I always like have this financial stress like where my dad always struggled for money so you know always one motivation that I had is like you know I don't want to have this financial pain that my dad had because he literally I didn't see him in my childhood like from my first grade to seventh grade because he was working in Dubai all this labor jobs man that's the her toughest life they live like 16 people in a small room he did that and like you know I don't want to go through that process I thank God he gave me enough life to have a better life than him but I want to give them back and at the same time I want to have a better life financial freedom indirectly that's the term I learned later on but uh, that's the motivation I always have with me so with that motivation like I, I, I tried like in, in 2015 after a month I came like I, I used to do like e-commerce uh, didn't work out you know I, for some reason I couldn't figure out to be successful in that uh, maybe it's because I guess my skills were not enough on that one and then I tried uh, driving Uber after uh, work that also didn't work because you know I was working eight hours and I IT job was not just eight hours because now I have to learn certain things sometimes goes from 8 to 10 12 and then on top of that I was doing uber pretty much like literally no family life right so that was not my intention so then I as soon as I quit that and then I um, thank out to one of my friends he introduced me to this Amway again it's a networking network marketing company if you don't know what it is this was like a turning point for my life because I know that network marketing you can learn a lot of stuff that's why I was like just going to their events and then one kid this he stand up on the stage he says that this book changed my life and guess what that book is rich dad poor dad 
and I heard about that book years ago but I never read because you know I don't know for some reason I didn't have that habit of reading books or paper or anything but after hearing to this kid somehow you know that really motivated man if this kid can make it happen why don't I that's when I like I literally like ordered the book on, on that day like when the event was happening I, I just opened my Amazon and opened ordered the uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad book so the next weekend I sat for two days read the complete book and here's what I learned from that book difference between assets and liability that's a freaking mind-blowing concept that I never no one really told me before at least assets is something you know make money for you while you're sleeping liabilities is something takes money from your pocket so which is like liability is a car asset is a rental property that's what his example was so pretty much like Robert Kiyosaki talks a lot about real estate in that book then like oh my god real estate i know real estate because if you're an indian you you can connect to this i guess because you know in india back home like everyone loved to buy land because they believe in the land so much again even like my dad he have only one land a piece of land that he purchased like um, 25 years ago for uh, 4000 canadian dollars which he sold for 100000 canadian dollars after 20 years so which is like a solid returns so again that's why like with that mindset like i believe in real estate from my childhood and i have my uncle the same thing he's one of the richest guy in our uh, district I, i know he became richest ever guy just because he's invested in so many lands and houses and all those things so all these stories were running when i'm running in my head when i'm reading that book so immediately i picked up picked up another book now because you know this robert kiyosaki rich dad is all about general concepts because now i i hooked up to that real estate concept i went on google for investing in real estate in canada and then i found a book investing by acre like a canadian real estate investment club they have a book called investing in canada in rental properties and also another book by Brandon Turner bigger pockets guy that's another resource so i started reading that book so i hooked up so much to this concept so after reading that book i figured out there is a really cheapest way to get into the real estate which is house hacking which is like literally all you need is like 5% down and you can get the rest everything from the bank and this is like in 2016 september so pretty much like that concept like you know what i don't have that much money but at that time in 2016 in windsor the properties were like i can get a, a property that needs some work a duplex or single family at that time was like below 150000 again rough properties but again from this knowledge i learned that i can buy a property and even take the money from the bank to improve the property condition so i did exactly what they said literally no knowledge prior knowledge no friends no family and all these things right but i took a leap of faith that was like one thing you know what what the worst thing i could lose in this by doing this so then i i started to look for properties and in that process thank god i started to associate people who are in windsor and that's when i met cassidy locks and she's now was my partner and a very good friend her, her boyfriend matt great people but they started an investor club at that point now uh, savio is running the show win city investor club again i started to attend the events every month learning every day and also like le- reading all these blogs and books on bigger pockets hearing the podcast every day so i was doing this every day from 2016 september onwards finally like again it was so tough for me to make the decision because first of all i didn't had money by the time like i started my job in uh, 2014 and this is like 3 years uh, pretty much 2 years after uh, i was like just the clearing of my debt like just still like at that point and i know i have another big debt coming soon which is my sister's wedding because i know in, in india like the girl's family will pay for the girl's wedding and all the expenses so i know that's coming for me because my dad didn't had anything pretty much it's my responsibility to help my dad so that was like almost planned for 100000 um so at this point like i was 
little bit uh, juggling between whether to buy now or later but at the end like somehow my brain said you know what if not now when so then i like i made a decision after six months got my first property in 2017 march 1st i closed my first duplex i think that's the best decision i ever made of course i feel like i, I should have purchased way before but thing is like you know i would not regret because i was so new at least i pulled the trigger i know 95% people out there they couldn't pull that trigger so thank god i did even i like i did not have my permanent residency at that time i was like still in process but i figured out a way that there is possible because i was working 2 years and i had a solid job thank god i even though i didn't had savings but i had my job and in windsor at that time like my first property was 100000 which means my down payment is 5% of it or oh, plus improvements i i took another 25000 from the bank so 125 5% of that is my down payments i if i remember correctly including the closing it was less than uh, probably around 8000 ish that was my total investment and yeah i i i could it i could save that by like living on credit cards and all i did uh, some creative ways so long story short i was able to buy the first property man that's a freaking mind change game for me at that point because now i have this duplex and my mortgage was only 500 something and then i had two units vacant one unit three bedroom one bedroom i lived in one bedroom i was always living cheap so three bedroom I finished the renovations of course there were so many challenges while doing the renovations because I don't know anything I have to hire a guy and the contractor he was like freaking slow and the bank only gave me 3 months I have to you know sometimes I buy him coffee I I tell him all the stories hey you know what uh, this is so bad like if I couldn't do it bank will want me to pay back sometimes he show up sometimes he doesn't and, and again whatever it took I made sure he finished the job finally I was able to make it done and then that events that unit is rented out man the rent was $1250 which means after all my expenses i was still making money and living in one unit for free so that literally boom like wow so that's when now i started to save up for my second property thank god um, our wedding was planned in 2018 march so that means i had like another 9 months so in this 9 months i purchased another property and now while i've purchased this properties in this process somehow like for me i love to share that's when i started my youtube channel that's another freaking good thing i have done i love always like sharing and that's where i feel so good and i think it's the genes i got from my dad he always loved to help everyone whoever calls him he always like you know do this do that all this so i think that's the genes i got so again long story short um i started my youtube channel uh, i think pretty much in somewhere in 2018 june or july so in this process also like i was talking to one of my cousin's friend which means like my friend he was like always curious about what we we always well connected you know we both have similar kind of uh, interests so i was telling him what i was doing with the first property and second property then he told me that you know what i'll give you this money go show me what you can do so he gave me like 40000 or something on the first property he asked me to do a board project at, at that time i learned board strategy so that was my first jv agreement and thank god i was so successful with that like i was able to pull the money out for him and that was done so second property boom and then like now wedding came up and in this process like i i realized like because i was doing youtube and i was um doing jv partners and somehow like i'm so into real estate like i i i'm so into like talking to people and helping this is where i realized like you know i think i fit into this group i fit, this is something is what fits my you know interest and i think this is where i supposed to be like i thought to myself 100 times that's when i started to take exams for my real estate license and then you know i finished my exams i, I believe uh, in in 2019 january uh, but before that 2018 march our wedding was planned and my sister wedding at the same time so boom now the wedding planned and i i have to go for wedding we did the wedding fantastic you might even see the videos in the channel but i came back with 100000 debt in my account because that was my you know i i pretty much paid for my sister wedding so now i have to make that money back that's where like you know debts and on top of that 
Man, I had a bug of building a 30 bedroom house in student rental area and I started that. I purchased the land. It, this is all my, my personal money, like from my line of credit friends and all. I started and all those things and then boom, I lost the project. I couldn't continue because of, you know, so many reasons. I'll, maybe I'll make another video later on, but long story short, I pretty much uh, sold that land with a loss of uh, 80,000. So 100,000 debt for wedding and then 80,000. Uh, man, that was huge pain, huge pain. But at this point, this is where I was at a point where now I cannot focus on my job because I was so hooked up into real estate and I, I'm, I'm so into it and I love it. You know, I can see that myself, like I, I can do fantastic in this. So at this time, like I asked my wife, do you think would I be a dumb guy to quit my job in this situation? And she said, what do you feel? I said, I think I want to do it. I think I can do it. And she said, no, go, go do it. I'm like, thank you so much. That's a huge support. Not everyone can give. Uh, so that's when like I had like this 180,000 debt, right? But what I did is like I sold my first property, made 80,000 profit. Maybe I'll make another video about that profit. But I, I cleared up some debt. I still had debt, 100,000. But good thing is, so I was paying off that debt. I, I know like I can pay just the interest and live off that uh, debt until I have money. So at that point, Man, this is the really crucial turn for my life. I didn't really imagine. I went with my gut feelings. I quit my job on February, like January 31st, where I got my license in 2019. February 1st, I gave my resignation to the company saying that I'm quitting. So gone, job is gone. Now I'm full-time realtor. Thank God to many of you who've been following me from that time and who trusted me in the process purchasing the properties. It's been now as a realtor from 2019 to February and now like it's like 17 months. So it's been 17 months, helped over 70 investors individually, myself and just a month ago in May, I started, I mean, before Cassidy started the Win City team and I partnered up with her. Now I took over the Win City team as a real estate team. So now I have team of agents now from last two months me and my team together helped over 20 people either purchasing or selling it's it's a fantastic feeling i cleared up all my debts trust me now i i have zero debts and guess what actually today is june 17th i got a firm deal on another property seventh property yesterday so that's another add add on to my portfolio so literally this is like a dream come true you know quitting the job and also like clearing up that huge debt just by trusting my gut feelings. I knew not many people made that happen. The reason I'm sharing all this, my, my whole story is really I see many immigrants like me or many people, you know, in even, even local people, they feel like, you know, maybe they don't have this skill or they don't have that or they don't have some other skill to do whatever they like to do. But I can tell you from my personal journey, Man, if you really want it so badly, you can make it happen. No question, because we are in, sitting in a, such a unique a century where like, you know, timings where we have all the resources in our hand and there are so many awesome books and so many awesome associations, means people like like-minded people whom, where you can get together and learn, like Bin City Investor Club for me, what it did for me. And like, you know, all the friends that I made from them, like I learned a lot. And you know, the books I read and the videos I watched, Matt Mickey or Jeff Weibo, and many other realtors, like they have a fantastic YouTube channels. That things really helped me to be where I am right now. So these things, if I can make it happen, I can clearly, without even hesitant, I can say that you can make it happen too. It's the persistence, the commitment. If you really want it badly, you know, if you are like sure this is the kind of life you want, and I'm sure this is, I'm still like at the beginning, but I definitely feel like I got to a point where, you know, at least the free of the debts, free of things. And I know I have some properties that are working for me, even if I don't have the checks coming in. So that's a cool feeling. You know, that's a fantastic feeling that never my family had that freedom. Now I, I'm, I'm slowly moving my family to me, closer to me. So that's, these are things happen just because the mindset that I developed along the way with the, all these things. So man, all I could say, if I can do it, you can do it too. Let me know 
how do you like about my story in the comments below i know it's a long video but thank you so much for watching till the end hope you enjoyed hope this gave you some inspiration especially if you're an immigrant traveling to any new country if you think you cannot achieve your dreams that's totally wrong if someone says you that tell them that fuck you and go do it whatever you want to do and good luck with your career have a wonderful day